person on that thunder? I'd like to get a hold of the guy who called us Sonny. I'd like to get a hold of the guy that issued this tent. I'd like to get a hold of the guy. Why, the only thing around here without running water is a shower. You're right, Cooper. We're going to get out of this waterlogged doghouse before we start drawing submarine face. We're with you, Skip. Yeah, but where to? Yeah, where do we stay dry? Well, where else? Over in that wine cellar. If it's good enough for Fuji, it's good enough for us. Yeah, well, come on, you yeah, bunch yeah. of gophers. We're going underground. Hey, hey, you guys, wait for your answer. <laughs> Well, it's not much of a view, but at least it doesn't leak. Yeah, if you ask me, Skip, Fuji's got it pretty soft. Uh, but what you think? Hey, Fuji, how are you, buddy? Welcome to Crummy Home. Crummy? Listen, are you kidding? As PW, I got a good mind to complain to Red Cross. Yeah, well, while you're at it, put in a word for us. Yeah, our bunks are like sleeping in a bathtub. All right, all right, come on, it's raining enough outside without you crying in here. Boys, the time has come for action. Right, ready. Uh, skip's right, you guys. We've been on our duff long enough, it's about time we got up and did something. Like what, for instance? <laughs> like moving all our gear down here permanently. Sort of like a home away from home. Huh? Skip would be dead the first time Binghamton pulled a surprise inspection and found our tents empty. Yeah, but not if we leave another set of gear up in those tents. And we can requisition the whole works. Mattresses, blankets, cots. What a whole kit and caboodle. A requisition from Binghamton? Ah, not a chance. Look, why don't we go scout around and see what we can swipe? Not on your life. We're gonna do this through channels. We're gonna ask for them, official-like. And if we don't get them, then we'll swipe them. Ah! <laughs> Gee, I love that kind of talk. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Play on, Elroy, play on. Music has charm to soothe the savage appetite. <laughs> Even your music. Hi, Captain. Stop there. <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Ooh. Of course I'm all right, Janimi. I always go around with spaghetti on my face. Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'll have you cleaned off in a jiffy. Here, let me get... <laughs> Boy, your eyes ever bloodshot. Or is that meat sauce? I'll oh, clean oh, sauce, sir, oh, you boob. Clean up, clean up. Let me get to you. Oh, 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 oh. What are you going to do? Grab me or something? Stop that. For two lira, I... Oh, what's the use? Mikhail, why aren't you over your base answering the telephone? I've been trying to get you all morning. Well, well I, I guess the rain, the rain, sir, just short-circuited the connection, Jesse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's exactly why we're here, sir. You see, I, our tents are leaking like sieves. And we'd like to have some new... I love cowards you'd like to have. It's what I'd like to have at counts. Now, this is what I like to have. There's a torpedoed enemy freighter that's beached up north, and staff wants to see what's inside of that. Well, that's easy. It's probably a lot of seawater. Well, they already know there's a lot of water to use, you boob. You get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, here's your map, so get out of here. Yes, sir. And, sir, uh, if you'll sign these requisitions, sir, uh, for the new sleeping gear, we'll be uh, on our way. New sleeping gear? I wouldn't give you schlockmeisters the right time of day. Get out. Oh, come on, Captain. For once in your life, can't you be reasonable, sir? Reasonable? You see these? One, two, three, four. Ah, very good, you remember. Now, I'll tell you something else. You don't get these for being a pussycat. You don't get them for being a stinker, either. <laughs> Captain, no, Captain, Captain, no, he's just slipping the tongue. He, he said thinker. He said, Captain, you cannot deny the basic necessities for my men, sir. It's a matter of health. Oh, is it? Well, then you take a nice, healthy ocean voyage up to that freighter. Now, move out of here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You know what I said about you being a stinker? Yeah. Still goes. What? <laughs> you little rat. Oh! Sir, it's Elroy. You're always in the way. <laughs> hey, look at all this stuff that's washed ashore. Boy, that freighter was loaded. Holy jumping, Hannah! Boy, get a look. Look at this genuine antique couch. Hey, how about this jazzy chair? And take this crazy love seat. Uh, come with me to the Caspar. Come on, Frenchie, you ain't my type. Wow, that was no cargo ship. That was a floating furniture van. Find this keepers, eh, Skip? Oh, this jazz will bring a pretty leer around the open market. What open? Are you kidding? Look, we've been trying to con a few cots and blankets out of old lead bottom. When right here we got enough furniture to fix up a regular palace. 
Hey, the skip's right. Yeah, this stuff would go great in the wine cellar. Let's get it on board the boat, you bunch of interior decorators. Come on, let's go down the skip. Hey! Get out! This is your ensign speaking. Come on, come on, let's get this thing tied up. Come on, boys, on the double. Let's get the stuff stashed away before you know who spots it. Now, come on, on the double. Yeah, you better make it on the triple, you guys. Ah! All right, you see going bandits. You stand right where you are. What'd you do, McCann? Did you heist Buckingham Palace? And, uh, no, no, sir. We didn't heist anything, sir. You see, uh, we found all this furniture on the beach near that German ship that you had us check out. That's right. And finders keepers. Group said so. What we were actually going to do, sir, was to uh, uh, hold this furniture until we could uh, hold an inventory, you see? And then we were going to polish it up real nice and then give it to you. You're not going to give me anything because I'm going to take this under Article 13, Paragraph F, relating to the disposition of war booty. Oh, you mean you're going to confiscate it, sir? Oh, good. Oh, oh that'll look just wonderful in your quarters. That sofa, Shut right up, up against nitwits. the wall. Shut up! Hey. Surrounded by nitwits. Now get that stuff unloaded. Get a truck down here and load it on that. Abba, abba. Aye, aye, sir. All right, you heard the captain. Now let's go. And you, you give me that. Huh? No, oh, I'm fine. Wait a minute. Hold it. 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 Oh, sir, sir, I'll save you, sir. Would you, would you please? I'm going to save you. Oh, sir, wait a minute. I'll save you, sir. Hang on, sir, sir. I'll save you. Oh, get up, oh, Sir, it's Colonel Harrigan. Oh, old glue fingers. What's he trying to latch onto this time? It... Oh, no. My furniture. If that thief ever catches one glimpse of this, he'll... Well, don't just stand there like a ninny. Hide everything while I go and stall him. Colonel, hey, it's such a nice day. Why don't we just stay outside? Hmm? Binghamton, you look like a little boy caught at the cookie jar. You wouldn't happen to have one of them little Italian cookies stashed away in there now, would you? <laughs> Me, you think? I'm... <laughs> but Elroy's the only cookie I've got in there. I... <laughs> well, forget the whole thing. Yeah. Good day, Captain. Me and Sam! <laughs> what in thunderation is going on here? Uh, going on here? Well, uh... Uh, the sheets. You mean the sheets? Uh, well, the, the she we, we were just doing a little spring house cleaning. Yes. In November? Oh, yes. Yeah, very good to get an early start on this. You know, clean the ship is a happy ship. Of course, your army, you wouldn't understand. Hi, <laughs> Elroy. Go get the vacuum. Yes. <laughs> uh, sir, we don't have a vacuum. Uh, no, no, I'll get the vacuum. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Colonel. Oh, see, we just sprayed everything in here, Colonel. There's moths. They're flying all around here. And... and... <laughs> you sure you didn't inhale some of that stuff, Wally? <laughs> and what's so special about this, Colonel? There's nothing special about it, Colonel. This is just Army issue. That's oh! <laughs> ah, Army issue, huh? Whose Army? Napoleon's? <laughs> Very good. Oh, no. You see, my couch is being repaired. This is a, this is a loner. Oh, what do you know? A courtesy couch, yeah. eh? <laughs> Wally, I don't think you inhaled that stuff. I think you must have drank it right out of the can. Well, 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 a genuine Louis Cans chair. Sir, I yes. couldn't find a vacuum, but I borrowed a broom. Good. I ride it around the base. Now, sweep, sweep. <laughs> all right, now, Wally, fess up. Come on. Where'd you get all this stuff, huh? I'm sure you didn't win all these priceless antiques in any crap game. Oh, Colonel, sir, the captain never gambles. As a matter of fact, all of this came from a torpedoed enemy freighter. Well, what idiot, what the carpenter is trying to tell you is that, what are you trying to tell? I, I, I can explain everything. That's what he's saying. I know, I know. You're just saving all this stuff for me until I can collect it under Article 13, Paragraph F, relating to the disposition of war booty. You know about that one. Well, that... Uh, that's exactly what I was going to do with it. I, well, I'm going to save you a lot of bother, Wally. 
I'll just mosey on back to headquarters and send a truck over to relieve you of this awesome burden. <laughs> it's just no burden. I mean, I, I would be glad as long as you feel that way of relieving you of the burden of relieving me of the burden. <laughs> you, you. Yes, he, yes, sir. I'll yes. send the truck. He's going to send the truck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I tell you, Skip, there just ain't no justice. Yeah, what is it? People can get off swiping out furniture. And we went to all the trouble of swiping first. Hey, hold it, hold it. Hey, boys, something tells me the ball game's just started. Let's get over here. Come here, come here. Careful with that couch, you fellas. That's government property. Gently! Gently! Well, thanks for your cooperation, Wally. Oh, oh, oh. I'm all a conniving. Well, there goes our furniture for good. Yeah, and Harrigan winds up with the swankiest pad this side of Paris. Not yet, he hasn't. We need that furniture more than he does. Look, if Harrigan can heist it from Binghamton, why can't we heist it from Harrigan? We're with you, Skip. This is total war. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were here to fight the Germans. Oh, Chuck, forget about the Germans for a minute, will you? Would you? Hey, wait a minute. That's it. That's what? You saved the day, Chuck, and the furniture. Come in, gather around you, Schweinhunds. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> You're waiting here, leader. Ah, yeah, snake, snake. Oh, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm delivered. No, look. These are Harrigan's quarters. Now you gotta get in there and get out fast. I'll do like I told you. Come on, come on, boys. Let's go. Yo, Orman, come down. <laughs> Just practicing. Yes! On your feet, American Schwein! What is the meaning of this? What do you want? Quiet, pig! This is un commando raid! You tell him, Schultz. <coughs> Schultz. <laughs> okay, don't shoot! Can't we talk this over? Night, Schwein! Just hand over the secret papers! Secret papers? What secret papers? Huh? Achtung, Kuf! Schnell! There's a submarine waiting and we don't want to miss it. It's a long swim back. Yeah, especially if you can't swim. But he can't swim. I don't know what secret papers you're talking about. <laughs> ah, these Yankee dogs are ticky. Must be hid under the furniture down there. Yeah, boy, we will look. Wait, I am in charge here. We do not have time to look now. We will take the furniture and look later. Achtu! Push! All right, move out! Schnell, schnell! Are you? Face against the wall! Schnell, schnell! I'm standing, I'm standing. Oh, no, it's not my furniture. You, get your face against the wall! Schnell, schnell! I'm standing, I'm standing. I have you covered. <laughs> That will teach you to fool around with the Third Reich. Right? <laughs> That's better than any of your American Boy Scouts could do. Herr Oberleutnant, the tide is going out. This U-boat is leaving. Schnell, schnell. Right, Skip. <laughs> uh, skip. Don't want to skip the ship. Yes, well, I've got to be going. Sieg <laughs> Before I plug up your jingles. Oh, sure. All right, Binghamton. Captain, what did you do with it all? Where is it? How dare you break in here? <laughs> Where is what? Stop playing innocent with me, you bell-bottomed bandit. You had your phony stormtroopers hijack that furniture, and you know it. Stormtroopers with furniture? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't hand me that. I phoned the provost marshal as soon as I untied myself. 
You were tied up? The only personnel who left San Luca all night was a truckload of swab jockeys. <laughs> swab jockeys? San Luca? All right, Wally. If that's the way you want to play it. <laughs> but I'm going to get me that furniture back. And when I do, I am going to have enough evidence to put you and your goose-stepping hijackers on the rock pile for the duration of World War Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Sir... Sir, why did you do it? Now you've got the colonel so mad that he's well, going I to go... I can see that. He sure. came in. What do you mean? Why, I didn't do any... I wouldn't do anything like... For heavens, I... Must have been Mikhail. That's the only one it could have been. Oh, then you didn't do it, sir. Sir, I am so relieved. It takes I'll such... I'll relieve you of your head. That's what... Go get my jeep. I'm going to catch Mikhail and his furniture filches with the evidence. We'll see who'll be pounding rocks till the end of World War Seven. <laughs> oh, shut up, Guinevere, the chief. Uh, fellas, I think I was definitely right. The coffee table does clash with the love seat. So let's give me a hand with this, will you? Not again. Ah, boys, something tells me we're really gonna begin the living. I get it. I'll, I'll get it, Skip. That's my private ring. It's your lira. Start talking. Yeah. Yeah. L Lead bottom did what? Yeah. Right. Thanks. Thanks a lot for the tip, old buddy. Later. What was that all about, Groob? That was my pal Dombrowski over at the motor pool. Binghamton just ordered the Jeep and headed this way, muttering something about teaching them furniture grabbers a lesson. And that's a quote. Oh, brother. Here we go again. He's wise to us. Yeah, but how in blazes did he find out? Goodbye, palace, hello, prison. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks, Skip. He still don't know anything about the wine cellar. Yeah, when he sees the furniture ain't in our tents, maybe he'll just go away. Yeah, but for how long? No, the only way to keep him away from here is to convince him that we don't have it, that the furniture no longer exists. You mean destroy the evidence? All these valuable antiques? Oh, I got it. Take it. All right, hold it, hold it. Now, wait a minute. Now, look, why can't we play it both ways? For instance, we blow the furniture to kingdom come, yet we keep it for ourselves. Skip, you better lie down. Yeah, maybe. Oh, come on. I know it's a wild idea, but... Look, we haven't time. Come on into my office, boys. I want to talk to you. Sit down. Here I am again, Doc. Now, look. Good day, Bird. Green it out. It's your fire. Well, that does. Yeah, the supply plant's all loaded. That's the dynamite's all set. Good, good. Condition red. Big lump don't come in. All right, food, you get lost. All right, boys, battle stations. But remember, do not start the fireworks until I get old lead bottom into the tank. You got it? All right, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Where you're going, I have the right of way on the pedestrian. I'm a pedestrian, you. You goof, you. All right, Mikhail. You swiped Colonel Harrigan's antiques, and I know it. Well, we figured you would, sir. I knew you were much too smart to be fooled, even for a minute. Don't you lie to me, Mikhail, because I'm wise to you, and I know all about your crowd commandos, and... <laughs> you don't deny it? But you're confessing? Well, of course. Why lie? And you have to admit, we was pretty clever, right, your captain? See, how? Now, wait a minute. Wait, after all these years, you're going to tell the truth to me? Why, 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 why is that? We appropriated this furniture for you, sir. For me, sir? For you, sir. Yes, sir. Captain, we may have our little differences, but when it comes to choosing between you and Hammerhead Harrigan, why, after all, sir... Your Navy, and he's Army. I noticed we were wearing different suits, but I... Now, wait a minute. What is the catch? Catch? I don't know what the catch is. I know what the couch is, though. It's in the supply tent with the rest of the stuff. I don't trust them, sir. Remember the old saying, beware of snakes bearing gifts. It's not snakes, it's Greeks. Yes. And then, uh, shut up. I shut up. Was... Why are you always so suspicious? Well, sir, Why don't wouldn't you... these fine lads want me to have that furniture anyway? Didn't you ever hear of a thing called esprit de corps? Esprit de corps, yes. That means right. even though we all hate each other, we're still all navy. Oh. Why don't you sing a chorus of anchors away? Yeah. 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 Not now. <laughs> no, not. I want to see the furniture. Yeah, see the furniture. No, no, I said, sir. I well, you got a lot of time for that, sir. I thought perhaps you'd like to step into uh, my tent, sir, and have a little glass of. Uh, 
Orvieto? <laughs> no, I don't want it. What is it? Orvieto. <laughs> no, I don't want it. I want to see the antiques. <laughs> the antiques. Well, well sir, I can... <clears throat> uh, skip. Enemy jeep approaching fast. <laughs> oh, no. It's him again. If he sees the furniture, he'll think I stole it. And I didn't steal it. You stole it. So you keep your mouth shut. You understand? Shut, shut, shut. Okay, shut, shut. Now what are we going to do? Well, we'll use the same plan. Harrigan. If it worked for two, it'll work for three. What brings you here? Aha! <laughs> Caught you thieves red-handed, huh? Well, I knew if I followed you long enough, Binghamton, you'd lead me to my furniture. What do you mean by a crack like What furniture? We don't have any furniture. Oh, over now and now, Captain Binghamton, <laughs> uh, there's no sense in pretending anymore, sir. He, he knows we've got the stuff here. I knew you'd do this to me. I told you to keep your big trap shut. Don't pay attention to that man, Colonel. He's got battle fatigue. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, oh that's right. Oh, believe me, Colonel, we don't have any of your antiques. None. None at all. None. Oh, but we do. No, Captain, don't you remember? I just got through telling you the furniture's over there in the supply hut. Oh, Michael, you admit that you hijacked that furniture from my quarters, huh? Oh, well, now, I wouldn't say that, sir. We hijacked it, all right, but uh, not from your quarters. Uh, we got it from a, a bunch of German commandos that we ran into. Quite a battle, too. We lost two club chairs and a pepper mill. No oh, hogwash! It's all a cockamamie scheme cooked up by a certain cockamamie captain. Well, of all the unmitigated gall, how dare you accuse me? Uh, now, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, please, uh, the enlisted personnel might hear. Uh, uh, look, sir, why, why don't we step into my tent and uh, we can talk about... Uh, uh, divvying up all these antiques, say, 50-50? <laughs> right this way, gentlemen. Here we are, right, right. 75, 40. Yes, what? <laughs> Never mind. Just put it right in there, right gentlemen. Right this way, that's it. Oh, Captain, this is it. Air raid, right. take the shutter, air raid. Right. Now watch it, boys. That cherry's gonna drop a bomb. Look out, boys, it's coming down. Hey, they got one of our tents up, big. You miserable hun! You win the birds! They're running away! It's all over! All right, boys, give us a hand. Get the captain and the colonel out here. Let's go. Come on. Come on, gentlemen. Are you all right? You're all right. Come on, let's go. Thank heaven you're safe, Captain. What happened? Am I all right? Oh, yes, sir. Outside of a bad case of dandruff, I think you're all right. Damn it. What is this white stuff? Is this snow? Feathers. What happened, Miguel? That Jerry had a chicken coop? Oh, no, sir. We don't have any chicken coop. Oh, look! The supply tent! Why, why, it was a direct hit! Oh, no! Why, it's completely destroyed. And all those beautiful antiques with it. Boy, that's a shame, sir. Well, looks like that's all that's left your Queen Anne love seat. My Queen Anne love seat? You mean this was in there with all my other... Oh, oh everything, sir. Everything, everything. <laughs> Oh, this must be my beautiful sofa. What do you mean yours? It's mine. Grab yeah, everything you can. Take it on top. Take it on top. Get me on top. Hey, hold your car. Hey, hold your car. You know, Elroy, the only good thing about this is knowing that McHale and his cutthroats have it worse than we do. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel Harrigan. Oh, old glue fingers. What's he trying to latch onto this time? It... Oh, no. My furniture. <laughs> if that thief ever catches one glimpse of this, he'll go. Well, don't just stand there like a ninny. Hide everything while I go and stall him. <laughs> Colonel, hey, it's such a nice day. Why don't we just stay outside? Hmm? Binghamton, you look like a little boy caught at the cookie jar. You wouldn't happen to have one of them little Italian cookies stashed away in there now, would you? Uh, me, you think? I'll... <laughs> I'll 
that's certain. Well, Elroy's the only cookie I've got in there. I just... <laughs> well, forget the whole thing. Yeah. Good day, Captain. Manson! <laughs> <laughs> what in thunderation is going on here? Uh, going on here? Well, uh... Uh, the sheets. You mean the sheets? Uh, well, the, the she we, we were just doing a little spring house cleaning. Yes. In November? Oh, yes. Yeah, very good to get an early start on this. You know, clean the ship is a happy ship. Of course, your army, you wouldn't understand. Hi, <laughs> Elroy, go get the vacuum. Yes. <laughs> uh, sir, we don't have a vacuum. Uh, uh, no, I'll get the vacuum. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Colonel. Oh, see, he just sprayed everything in here, Colonel. His moths are flying all around here and... and <laughs> you sure you didn't inhale some of that stuff, Wally? <laughs> and what's so special about this, Colonel? There's nothing special about it, Colonel. This is just Army issue. That's oh! <laughs> ah, Army issue, huh? Whose army? Napoleon's? <laughs> Very good. Well, no, you see, my couch is being repaired. This is a, this is a loner. Oh, what do you know? A courtesy couch. Yeah. Boys, come on, come on. Let's get this thing tied up. Come on, boys, on the double. Let's get the stuff stashed away before you know who spots it. Now, come on, on the double. Uh, you better make it on the triple, you guys. All right, you sea-going bandits, you stand right where you are. What'd you do, McHale? Did you heist Buckingham Palace? And, uh, no, no, sir. We didn't heist anything, sir. You see, uh, we found all this furniture on the beach near that German ship that you had us check out. That's right. And finders keepers. Group said so. What we were actually going to do, sir, was to uh, uh, hold this furniture until we could uh, hold an inventory, you see? And then we were going to polish it up real nice and then give it to you. You're not going to give me anything because I'm going to take this under Article 13, Paragraph F, relating to disposition of war booty. Oh, you mean you're going to confiscate it, sir? Oh, good. Oh, oh that'll look just wonderful in your quarters. That sofa, Shut right up, up against nitwits. the wall. Shut up! Hey. Surrounded by nitwits. Now get that stuff unloaded. Get a truck down here and load it on that. Hubba hubba. Aye, aye, sir. All right, you heard the captain. Now let's go. And you, you give me that. Huh? No, oh, I'm fine. Give it. Give it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, sir, sir, I'll save you, sir. Would you, would you please? I'm going to save you. Oh, sir, wait a minute. I'll save you, sir. Hang on, sir. Sir, I'll save you. Be, uh, on our way. You're sleeping, yeah. I wouldn't give you a schlockmeister's the right time of day. Get out. Oh, come on, Captain. For once in your life, can't you be reasonable, sir? Reasonable? You see these? One, two, three, four. Ah, very good. You remember. Now, I'll tell you something else. You don't get these for being a pussycat. You don't get them for being a stinker, either. <laughs> Captain, no, Captain, Captain, no. He's just slipping the tongue. He, he said thinker. He said, uh, Captain. You cannot deny the basic necessities for my men, sir. It's a matter of health. Oh, is it? Well, then you take a nice, healthy ocean voyage up to that freighter. Now, move out of here. <laughs> you know what I said about you being a stinker? Yeah. Still goes. What? <laughs> you little rat. Oh! Sir, it's Elroy. You're always in the way. <laughs> all this stuff that's washed ashore. Boy, that freighter was loaded. Holy jumping, Hannah! Boy, get a look. Look at this genuine antique couch. Hey, how about this jazzy chair? And dig this crazy love seat. Uh, come with me to the Caspar. Come on, Frenchie, you ain't my type. Wow, that was no cargo ship. That was a floating furniture van. Find this keepers, eh, Skip? Oh, this jazz will bring a pretty leer around the open market. What open? Are you kidding? Look, we've been trying to con a few cots and blankets out of old lead bottom. When right here, we got enough furniture to fix up a regular palace. Hey, the skip's right. Yeah, this stuff would go great in the wine cellar. Let's get it on board the boat, you bunch of interior decorators. Come on, let's go down the skip. Hey! Oh, this is your ensign speaking. Old kid and caboodle. A requisition from Binghamton? Ah, not a chance. Look, why don't we go scout around and see what we can swipe? Not on your life. We're gonna do this through channels. We're gonna ask for them, official-like. And if we don't get them, 
Then we'll swipe them. Nah. <laughs> Gee, I love that kind of talk. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Play on, Elroy, play on. Music has charm to soothe the savage appetite. <laughs> Even your music. Hi, Captain. Stop there. <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Ooh. Of course I'm all right, Janimi. I always go around with spaghetti on my face. Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'll have you cleaned off in a jiffy. Here, let me get... <laughs> Boy, your eyes ever bloodshot. Or is that meat sauce? Oh, meat sauce, you boob. Clean up, clean up, right here. Let me get you. Oh, 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 oh. What are you trying to do? Grab me something stuck. For two lira, I... Oh, what's the use? Mikhail, why aren't you at your base answering the telephone? I've been trying to get you all morning. Well, well I, I guess the rain, the rain, sir, just short-circuited the connection. Yes, sir, yes, sir. No, 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 no. Well, that's exactly why we're here, sir. You see, I, our tents are leaking like sieves. And we'd like to have some new... I love couch you'd like to have. It's what I'd like to have at couch. Now, this is what I like to have. There's a torpedoed enemy freighter that's beached up north, and staff wants to see what's inside of that. Well, that's easy. It's probably a lot of seawater. Well, they already know there's a lot of water to use, you boob. You get out of my way. Yeah, yeah, here's your map, so get out of here. Yes, and, uh, sir, uh, if you'll sign these requisitions, sir, uh, for the new sleeping gear, we'll be... Listen to that thunder? I'd like to get a hold of the guy who called us Sonny Italy. I'd like to get a hold of the guy that issued this tent. I'd like to get a hold of the guy. Why, the only thing around here without running water is a shower. You're right, Cooper. We're going to get out of this waterlogged doghouse before we start drawing submarine paint. We're with you, Skip. Yeah, but where to? Yeah, where can we stay dry? Well, where else? Over in that wine cellar. If it's good enough for Fuji, it's good enough for us. Yeah, well, come on, yeah, you yeah, bunch yeah. of gophers. We're going underground. Hey, hey you guys, wait for your answer. <laughs> well, it's not much of a view, but at least it doesn't leak. Yeah, if you ask me, Skip, Fuji's got it pretty soft. Uh, but what you think? Hey, Fuji. How are you, buddy? Welcome to Crummy Home. Crummy? Listen, are you kidding? As PW, I got a good mind to complain to Red Cross. Yeah, well, while you're at it, put in a word for us. Yeah, our bunks are like sleeping in a bathtub. All right, all right, come on. It's raining enough outside without you crying in here. Boys, the time has come for action. Ready? A skip right, you guys. We've been on our duff long enough. It's about time we got up and did something. Like what, for instance? <laughs> like moving all our gear down here permanently. Sort of like a home away from home. Huh? Skip would be dead the first time Binghamton pulled a surprise inspection and found our tents empty. Yeah, but not if we leave another set of gear up in those tents. And we can requisition the whole works. Mattresses, blankets, cots. What a 